Bruce here. He came in, he's coming for some stick from the fans this week. What's your opinion on, on that situation at the moment? Well, I don't like to see any player get be subject to heavy criticism for supporters, and that could mean it whether it's it, you know, teams I love or teams I don't love. Um, I think when you make big mistakes in games, it's always harder for supporters to accept when it's so late in games. And um, but as I said after the game, I think I look for reaction, and you know, um, I think if he could have bled because of mistakes, I would have seen, um, I would have seen Bellucci bleed at Rotherham, and I'd have certainly seen him bleed against Queens Park Rangers. He for 88 and 89 minutes respectively in both those games, he was he was outstanding. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a central defender or a goalkeeper or defensive player, people don't remember the 88 minutes, they remember the, the big decisions that you get wrong or the big mistakes and uh, there is no doubt that he's made mistakes but there is no doubt he'll give us a positive reaction. After Watford you left Scott Walton out for a game, are you, are you considering doing similar with Belushi? Or? Well I left him out but I brought him back in as you know. Um, I looked, What I spoke about after the ga- the other game the night to, to Adam was about his reaction, you know his reaction uh, of Scott afterwards was very good. And um, and Pepe's trained very well this morning, so we we look for people to give us a positive reaction. We've not picked our team yet for Burnley. We're just in the middle of assessing uh, finally what they're all about. I won't need to assess too hard because it'll be four four two, and we know the people who'll be in the boxes and what they are from from the skipper all the way through to Joey to up top. We've Oxy and and uh, and the boy Gray. They're an exceptional team, and and they've got an outstanding manager who will make sure their focus is getting back to winning ways after. After two draws, it has to be against, has to be said against teams that are fighting for their own prizes in Brighton and Cardiff. You know, uh, Pepe is 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 a is an intelligent boy. He's he's never shy in giving an opinion, um, but he's been very humble, very quiet. Um, you know, when and I've seen many players like that, strong characters over the years, and that's that's when you need your support. He doesn't need my support when he's getting. Many of the matches performances at likes of Blackburn and Cardiff. He don't need me to be to be there from. Um, but I've been a manager that all through my career. I'm, I'm in the trenches with people when we need them. And um, I know from my point of view, with when I look up above me in a football club, whether it be Leeds, Rotherham, whatever, I've always looked for those people to support me when I need the support. You know, uh, my previous chairman down at Rotherham, Tony Stewart, or uh, indeed Mr. Chilino, did. They do, but they don't need to text me when we win. They don't. I'm already on a high. Um, you need their support and reminding of your of your good things and the good things in the game or the team when you're when you've lost or things are not so good.